Every day is a school day, or well, that's at least what they say. And it seems like they're right because life seems to be turning out that way. Mistake, mistake, mistake. How many more must you take? You chip, you destroy and you break. But that's not enough. You engulf others along the way, hurting them like your prey. Unfortunately, hurt people hurt people, but surely there's a way to end all this evil. Your dark days and your light days, they're there to teach you something, for that is their reason. So when you face your young, your down days, don't worry, it gets lighter from here. It's kind of cute, because <laughs> you have no idea. So don't worry, it gets lighter from here. Before spring, bluebells curl in the soil a tight kernel of life a communion of frozen earth in the garden small green things slip through the cracks gasps of air between paving slabs we pick up the shrapnel a surgical job fine tweezers in trembling hands clear dirt from the rock leave space for the moss. The lawn stiff with frost comes warm beneath our footfall. We breathe deep, fill our lungs with birth. And hearts thick with loss, we remain, we become, we rejoice.
today. I know. I know what my fathers felt. What my fathers felt. My fathers felt. Our hearts beating together as one rhythm. Together as one rhythm. As one rhythm. Seeing tomorrow through your eyes. Strike the moon like a match head against the sky until it erupts into morning and we can drink in the fresh rays. We're only borrowing this starlight for a breath of time and the days have rolled away, though the smoke and bitter taste remains. Hold on to the daylight of the past, decorated with string and hung on the mantelpiece like a thing destined to be forgotten. But we are stronger for it. Let it define us. Let it fill the coffee cup with songs of survival and of we did it, then revel in the glow that such a morning brings. In our darkness, we created something softer and purer, but that burned just as bright. A hope and a home. Perhaps the universe was showing us the speckled darkness in order that we see the light. Bursting into morning has never felt more like a privilege. Thank you.
Sanctuary can mean many things to different people. Ultimately, it is a space to find time, peace, solace and light to a better and brighter days. It is important to find your personal sanctuary where you can be safe and free to explore your world, finding your path. Your sanctuary could be to create brighter worlds through your artwork. Connect with your environment on a long walk, giving you space and time. Or you could spend exploring your world and afar on your bike. From meeting in the virtual space to physically being with friends and family, lighter and brighter days are ahead of us all. Look for the path paved with light in the mist of darkness that envelopes this world. Hope knocks, gently waiting at your door. If hope is something you don't want to meet, you're choosing a life of misery and deceit. Open your heart to love, open your heart to give, open your heart to joy, open your heart to peace. We are eager for money, change, social interaction, succulent stuffed turkeys, stockings, shopping sales particular presents and a hopeful new year. Open your heart so that your fears are set apart. Fear is sliced the moment you come to Christ. Cough, sneeze is the venom of that pestilence and disease. Whoa, it's really been a year. Don't worry, the death of coronavirus is near. Get, so get ready, it gets lighter from here. Dear you, it gets lighter from here. I know, it is easily said but not as easy executed. You feel diluted with tears and unfinished texts in the notes of your phone. Showers seem different when you're not crying in them and everyone seems to be moving forward and you, you feel like a coward. <laughs> Except you have blazed bridges, you have overcome fridges of ice melting down the carvings of your back. Your unbitten nails mark that, however small, you've succeeded. You may not be at the place you want to be, but the place is exactly where it wants you to be. It gets lighter from here, sincerely. Yeah. Um, what are we going to talk about today? Well, I was going to ask you about um, how you've kept happy over lockdown, if you've even okay. been happy. Yeah. Yeah, what? Well. Um, at home, if you 
work at home is kind of boring because I'd rather go to the gym, really. Right, why? Why do you prefer going to the gym than being at home? Uh, you can see people like you, your friends at the gym and just have a company, really. Have you missed not being around people? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any message for people now going into another lockdown? In case we do. Um, if we don't, we all will be happy. Once, I travelled to a country where people questioned me why we treat death like we do. I replied. I didn't know what they meant. Surely death was the same to all people. Just as a tree, or a river, or a building appear the same to all people. They were not surprised by my answer. Like this was the fate of people who were born to think this way. Don't look at the world, and does it appear the same, they asked. Describe it to us, and do we describe it the same?